NBC 25's Josh Marshall talked to council members and the community about the battle for Flint City Hall. Josh. The fate of Flint's emergency manager position is now in the hands of the state. When Ed Kurtz took office earlier this month, city council members vowed to fight the appointment, and now that's exactly what they're doing. Flint City Council is continuing efforts to keep an emergency financial manager out of Flint. Current manager Ed Kurtz is already working on a long list without council's pressure. It's hard to get to doing the job when you spend your time uh, you know, arguing with council about law and uh, and those kinds of things. And frankly, if, if, if they were willing, we would like to include them in the process. The council's actions are questionable to some. Well, it looks to me like it's somewhat of an irrational decision and it looks like they should wait until November and then it will be decided and it'll save the city a lot of money. Council President Scott Kincaid says they will file for the financial manager's removal tomorrow or Thursday. The question is who's going to pay for it anyway, so I think they should just wait and see what happens. Go to the voting polls. If the state finds city council's claims to be true, Public Act 72 will be removed along with Ed Kurtz from office. But for now, Flint residents can look forward to making the decision themselves on the November 6th ballot. Live in Flint, Josh Marshall, NBC 25.